Hey guys, episode 18 of the Crypto Portfolio Series. Nice gain this week, uh, £7,000 up. Uh, I think this is partly on anticipation of more stimulus with the uh, US election uh, sort of pretty much done and dusted. Um, people are expecting the sort of Biden win will mean they'll push through some more stimulus. Uh, so it's essentially money printing, um, which is sort of good for gold and Bitcoin. So seen a reasonable gain this week. It's been a little higher um, earlier in the week. Uh, I'll show you in some of these individual positions. Uh, just sort of come down over the last day. A uh, quick word of caution as well. Just like to show you a bit of news every week, but a little bit of caution this week. Um, the Silk Road, uh, which is sort of a, an illegal dark web website, uh, sort of back in years ago, uh, sort of 2013. Yeah, it was shut down by the US government in 2013. Uh, they were sort of using Bitcoin um, and... The US have now seized a billion dollars of that Bitcoin. So they have seized some before and they had a sort of auction for it. Um, so they may do that again. Um, obviously, if they were to just dump it on the market and sell it, then uh, price would sort of tank a bit. But they do seem to sort of have a reasonable way of selling this without affecting the market too much you'll get a big buyer sort of come in and and bid for it uh, but yeah it's potential uh, well it's going to eat up sort of demand uh, if you've got any big buyers wanting to get in they might wait and buy this rather than sort of buying on the market and pushing up prices so could be a potential uh, headwind for the market um, but yeah overall pretty good uh, so Bitcoin this week, you see, has had a, a real move up um, during the week. Uh, was up to just sort of broke £12,000. Obviously, the uh, price is more generally priced in dollars. Uh, so I think it just touched £16,000. Uh, $16, and then has sort of come, come back, retraced a little bit over the last day. But... Uh, yeah, 6.8% up, so can't complain with that. Uh, some of the larger altcoins doing well. Uh, Ethereum up 11%. Uh, Litecoin uh, 5%, so it's not too bad. And then sort of it's uh, a bit up and down. RMG still sort of not, uh, not doing too much, but that's still... A lot higher than it was a few months ago, so fine with that. Cardano eight percent, not too bad. Uh, Stellar XLM uh, hasn't really moved. A lot of these others haven't moved too much. Uh, EOS uh, down a little. Tron I think was uh, sort of not moved a lot. Yeah, a lot of these sort of haven't really caught up with the Bitcoin gain, really. Um, 3% on XRP, but I think the gains will come eventually. It's not really uh, too much focus on altcoins yet. It's still, still all Bitcoin, pretty much. Uh, Power Ledger, up a little. See, look, just not really affected too much just yet. Um, Dash, yeah, Dash took a little bit of a tumble, 5%. Um, the only one that did have a, a big pump I saw was Civic. So this is a tiny, tiny coin. Uh, I think it's sort of in the 200s now. Uh, sort of top 200 rather than most of mine are sort of top 20, 30. Uh, but this was listed on Coinbase, um, which in the past did provide a sort of a huge pump for any new coin that was listed on Coinbase. Um, but sort of more recently, it hasn't seemed to have had as much of an effect because they have got a lot of coins on there now. Um, but yeah, for I think for such a small coin, this was sort of considered nearly dead. So 
get listed on there might provide a little bit of buying pressure. So you're up 91%, uh, but it's only a small little position. I'm considering maybe selling out of this and just putting it into sort of the rest of the funds, uh, the rest of the top coins, because it's only a small position. Or maybe putting it in the stocks. Uh, but yeah, so that's the portfolio for this week. Um, yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Like is always appreciated. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more.